her spine to wipe her tears. Backless and crumbling, she forgets how to stand. I try to take her spine from her hands and hug it back into her. But she doesn't know how to unbend herself from around my brother's bones. Mothers aren't guilty for birthing convicts. Pushing prenatal pills down throat didn't reach fetus in time. Her baby boy be leftovers, riding with enough mold to last another dose of birth control. Too guilty to cradle in the grave of her womb, yet stuck underneath her organs. My brother becomes brick, all hard and unusing at the pits of her uterus. She doesn't know how to give birth to a bullet. Ain't no contraceptive to raise criminals tear at motherly vaginas. Hours clock conscious into regretful revolutions lying in mama's belly. Cold livers lying in brother's clavicle. The only thing he can think of is the absence of warm walls. Biting placenta to taste innocence before prosecution slices throat. Conflicted with complex complications, my brother be too complicated for a judge's five minute thought process. He did an armed robbery with two others. He didn't know he'd be robbing mother of baby. Babies aren't developed for arrest, so he is learning to grow into prison positions with mama's spine. Ain't no epidural for her pain pushing. My brother is still Never washed his complexion with enough caution like Mama warned. He is stained guilty even though his race is still victimized. Mama cradles empty lullabies for her son to finally listen. She can't afford commissary income and bills, so, so she, she sends him $20. Enough to feed a guilty conscience. My brother be crippled in decision making skills. He be breaking bones to heal pre-developed sorrows. Mama pushes pelvis back 26 years. And she can't remember son unmarked in uniform barcode. She knows she cannot erase him. Ain't no more whoopings and punishments and reinforcing rebel into reality. Mothers don't know the power of belt as it ricochets off bars. He's a grown ass man now. Yet muscles tighten and threaten to stitch themselves together. Stifles tears through power cords because babies feel what their mothers do. She takes responsibility like he's a child, cause that's her child. Mama still believes she can talk boy into man, so I straighten her back into reality, remind her that her son, my brother, hasn't inhabited her womb for over 20 years. I tell her that she has nothing to feel guilty about. I tell her that her womb wasn't rounded by thieving hands. I tell her that her aching bones are only the result of carrying innocence. I tell her to stop breaking her back for him, and I offer her to her, but she is so used to being boneless, so I tell her to remember how it felt to stand, to mourn his decisions, but not him. It will be the only way to wipe her tears without breaking her spine.